Thanks to the Baselinker system, you can add products from the Baselinker system warehouse to your store. We can add products in two ways. To add products, go to the Products tab, Import Export, then select the Export tab. Here, you can see a list of files which you can download to your computer. These files will consist of information about your products within Baselinker system. Before you download a selected file, you can edit it. In order to edit it, you need to copy it first. We're selecting the BL Products Default CSV file. Click on Duplicate, and now we can edit this duplicated file. So, we click on Edit. Editing such a file looks exactly the same as editing any printout files in Baselinker. We can add certain things or remove them by editing the HTML code. Once all the changes are made, you can download the file and upload it to your store. The other method of adding a product to your store will be adding it straight from the product list. Remember that this method might not work with every store. Test it out to see if this option works with your online store. To add a product to the store, simply select the product, click on Operations, then select Create Products in the online store. At this point, we have two shops linked to this Baselinker system, one on the Shopify platform and one created with WooCommerce. In both these cases, adding a product will work. We choose the store, the language, price group, where should the stock level be imported from, and if we want to create a new category. Once all the options are selected, we click on Execute. The product will be added to our store. If we choose the store from WooCommerce, we can see that the questions are the same. We need to choose the language, currency, default storage, and click Execute. We can perform this action collectively for a few, several, and even several hundred items at a time. If after selecting this option we get an error message, then it means this method is not suitable for adding products to our online store. In that case, we'll have to first download a product list file and try adding items to our online store using the first method.